These fish do not look good, you guys. They look so sick. This whole row is just fish. You got tilapia, got the giant white eels. Oh my God, look at this guy. They got live crawfish. Well, they don't look too alive. Oh my God, they're huge. Look at this guy. He wants to come home. He just murdered the tilapia. What is up, the Athe Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're gonna be saving live fish and animals from the Asian food market yet again. It's been a while since we did this video. I think we've done two in the past. And basically what we do, we go to these Asian food markets where they sell live animals, live fish for people to eat. And we go in there and we act like we're buying them to eat, but in reality, we're saving them and we're bringing them back to my ponds to give them a second chance at life. Now we've saved turtles before, we've saved frogs, tilapia, eels. And yeah, there could literally be anything at these places. Places. and uh, I won't say much but it is very inhumane the way that they usually keep them it's really sad and that's why we go there and we save as many as possible guys however it's been a while since we did one of these videos you guys might be wondering why that is because your boy is banned from the Asian food market I'm not like actually banned like formally but if they see me in there they kick me out and yeah they don't they don't let me in there basically and with this giant camera it's very hard to be incognito so we kind of had to give up on saving the fish and you know eels and turtles from these Asian food markets until now guys I have found a new one I haven't been there yet but looking at the pictures it does look like they do sell live fish maybe turtles maybe frogs maybe eels we don't know but we're gonna go there today and we're gonna save as many as possible I'm really excited guys I love saving fish I love saving animals I know you guys do too so go down there and leave a like but usually there's a big problem with you know doing the things I'm doing right now saving these fish usually they don't like it for some reason they don't want you to save the animals so I have to go in there incognito okay I have to act like I'm eating them I'm gonna have to act like I'm creating like a little feast I'm gonna tell the people got a big dinner coming up <laughs> and I need to buy as many you know animals and fish as possible but in reality, we're going to be saving them and we're going to be putting them into my backyard ponds. So we're going to head there in a little bit, see what all we could save and bring back. We got a cooler filled up. I'm trying to be as prepared as possible right now. I'm bringing this cooler filled with water. I don't really know what to expect because I don't know what they sell there. I think that cooler is big enough. We're going to head there now, guys. Oh, and it's raining too. It's pouring. Well, let's head to that Asian food market and see what they got. Okay. While we wait for the rain to pass, guys, we're going to talk about something real. If you guys don't want to hear it, you can skip ahead to when we go to the Asian market. But right now, guys, we're going to talk about Rob. A lot of you have been wondering, where is my camera person, Rob? Why he's not filming for me anymore? And uh, I'm going to explain it right now. So basically, guys, this all started about six months ago when I first met Rob. We met through a mutual friend. And, you know, at the time he was looking for a job. I was looking for a camera person because, you know, I wanted to step up my videos and have someone, you know, full time working for me to help with them and I really liked Rob we were good friends so I decided to hire him I paid him full time to be my camera person to help with the videos and things were going really good for a while you know we were a perfect team you guys loved our videos together you loved us together and it was really good now on top of that as we became better friends I wanted to help him with his YouTube channel because at the time I think he was getting maybe a couple hundred views a video and over time you know I helped him a lot with his videos with his channel and his videos were starting to do really good which is you know what I wanted I want my friends to succeed just as much as I do I didn't realize at the time though how that would actually you know hurt us in the end because what you guys don't see is you know all the time and effort that you know goes into these videos you'll see a 20 minute video but you don't realize that that video takes all day to film we'll start early in the morning and we probably won't finish till it gets dark and then on top of that we have to edit the videos so you know that's another three four hours maybe we have to upload them make the thumbnails and most nights we are up till maybe 4 or 5 a.m we'll wake up again early in the morning the next day and do it all over again every single day so it's a lot of work and you know i'm not complaining i freaking love it this is my dream job i am so grateful to be able to do this all i'm saying is it takes a lot of time to make the videos and doing that with my channel alone is already more than a full-time job so with rob wanting to pursue pursue his own channel, his own videos. It really became hard to, you know, balance between 
my videos and Rob's videos because, you know, like I said, my videos will take all day and Rob also has to film his videos. So all it came down to, guys, was there's just not enough time in a day to do both for him. I wish things could have just kept going the way they were because they were going really well. You know, we were a great team, but I fully respect that, you know, Rob wants to focus on his own channel and I wish him all the best and I'm sure he's going to do great. And yeah, I mean, I completely understand it. What You know, it's normal. Why would you not want to, you know, grow your own channel it's perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it and i'm not saying that we won't ever you know do videos together i'm just saying as it is rob does not work for me anymore and um, he does not film for me he's gonna do his own thing he's gonna work on his own channel and make his own videos and i'm gonna keep doing the same thing guys and yeah that's really all it is so there it is there's the explanation we're gonna head to the asian market now we're gonna try to save ourselves some fish and animals we'll see you there all right guys we've made it to the asian food market this is what we're rocking with right now there's no mic because i want to go incognito i don't want to draw too much attention but we're gonna walk in there right now see what they got and see what all we could save all right here we go all right i'm looking for the fish that's not a fish oh there we go there's the fish. So first walking in, I noticed they had tons of tilapia, and I mean tons of them. But most of these fish looked really sick, and some were even already dead. These fish do not look good, you guys. They look so sick. Now they didn't just have tilapia, they had eels, they had frogs, they had these giant crabs, tons of just crazy creatures. Look at this, this whole row is just fish. You got tilapia, you got the giant white eels. Look at these, they got live crawfish. Well, they don't look too alive. There's crabs. Okay, there's a lot of fish. Oh boy. I don't think we're gonna be able to save all of them, you guys. Look how giant that crab is. Oh my God. There's rows and rows of these tilapia here. They do not look good. Oh yeah, these fish do not look good, you guys. They look so sick. As I was scoping out the place, an elderly woman walked up and she decided she's gonna buy some tilapia. So I was able to see how they handled people buying fish and this is what happened. Well, all right, I think we need to reevaluate. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. I was just in there checking it out. They got lots of tilapia, some other crazy stuff too. I saw eels, I saw big giant crawfish, and it looked like they had a different section that I didn't see yet with some other fish. But oh my God, guys, he just murdered the tilapia. That's two, we were gonna save those things. That lady in there, she's gonna eat those. <laughs> They're very sick fish. I don't know if you saw, I, I'm trying to be incognito with the filming, but the dude smacked the fish in the head with the hammer and knocked him out. That's what they do at the other store that we save these fish at. We have to actually ask them to keep them alive. I don't know if they're gonna do that at this store though. Oh my God, I'm nervous. I wanna save them though. We have to save them. I feel so bad. Is it possible to, to keep them alive? Yeah. Uh, can I get two tilapia? Uh, I can grab a bucket. Success. That's how you do it right there, folks. That's how you save yourself some fish. I asked him if we could keep the tilapia alive, and he said yes. And then he told me to go get a bucket. So I'm going to get a bucket. All right. We have acquired the bucket. We're walking back in there to get ourselves some tilapia. We're starting with two tilapia. I think I'm going to go full Noah's Ark on this. They look delicious. Which one looks the best to eat? Which one looks good to you? I want one that's gonna taste good, you know? All right, guys, we're getting dinner right now. He looks pretty tasty. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. He looks good. Sweet. Oh, we're weighing them up. Let's hope they're skinny, cause oh, they're $6 a pound. Perfect. Is it possible to get two of the, the white eels too? Noah's Ark, baby. We're saving two of each animal. Oh my God, they're huge. <laughs> oh wow yeah they're big those are good thank you oh my god look at this guy that's disgusting tilapia in there he's bagging up the eels we got a feast going on guys we're eating good jellyfish head oh my god nice thank you all right guys we got the first round of rescues we're gonna come back in holy shit, the eels were 52 dollars oh it's worth it Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We did it, baby. So the first round costed me $63 to save. Oh, no. 
No. Oh no, he's on his back. No, stay alive. I was saying it cost me 63 bucks to save four fish already. These eels were expensive. They, man, they need to lose some weight. All right, we gotta hurry up and get them in this cooler because they do not look good. Ugh. All right, guys, consider yourself saved. Jesus, look at them. They do not look healthy at all. That sweet old lady, she bought some tilapia. These do not look good, but we're gonna get them in this cooler real quick. We're gonna throw an aerator on them. All right, you guys, here we go. Into the cooler you go. Man, they are heavy. Look how cool those eels are. These are not the same type of eels that we saved last time. Come on, I'll pull through. This guy does not look good. All right, there you go, guys. Air, that should keep them alive. All right, they look better. Those eels are actually really cool. They're kind of like blue. They're like blue eels, but there's a lot of other stuff in there. I saw some frogs. I saw other eels. I saw crawfish. We're gonna go back in there and uh, buy some more. They're probably gonna think I'm crazy. Okay, we're walking back in. I'm back. I'm hungry. Could I get two of the frogs too? Those are some fat frogs right there. Oh my God. Oh, they're $14 a pound. Oh no. There's the other eels. These are the ones that we normally get. Oh yeah. Nice. I wish I could save them all. I want them all, but that would literally be like a thousand bucks probably. Look at this guy. He wants to come home. They got those eels. I want to save two of these eels as well. All right, there's our frogs. Nice and healthy. They look good. He's grabbing the yellow eels now. Oh, look at that. He's just going for it. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, he's going to weigh a lot. Oh, they, they just look delicious. Oh yeah. All right, we definitely need some crawfish too. I mean, look at these guys. We need some of them. Okay, not bad. Not as bad as the other eels. There they go. Sweet. Have a good day. We did it, baby. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really hungry. Good luck. Yeah. I've just been craving, you know, frogs and eels. Thank you and success. We just straight up nowhere's ark the Asian food market, you guys. We saved two of every animal we can. Another 60 bucks, oh my God. This would be an expensive meal if I was actually eating these guys. I mean, that's like 120 bucks. All right, guys, let's unbag these guys. Oh my, the frogs. <laughs> They're freaking huge, hey buddy. I really like the frogs. Hey buddy, you happy? You are happy to be saved? I like this one. Come here. No. Oh, oh Jesus, you're, ah! That thing is crazy. No, 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 no. Oh God, he's in my truck. Come back here. No, stop it. Stop. No, stop it right there. Get in the bucket, dude. There you go. Oh my God, I love him. He's massive. You stay. I don't know where to put him. Oh, is he croaking at me? My God, these things are big. All right, that one's even bigger. There you go, guys. This is just, this is just temporary, all right? Hey, you stay in there. And we also got some giant crawfish. Look at these things. Oh my God, they're massive. There you go. Wow, look how giant they are. That is so cool. Look how freaking big they are. You guys need to lose some weight. If you were a little skinnier, you'd be a little cheaper. All right, there we go, guys. There's all of our rescues. We actually saved so many fish and eels today. We get the frog bros. These guys are adorable. Look at them. I think all the fish and the eels, maybe even the crawfish, we might throw into Pond X. These guys, we might... <laughs> The water's in my eye, again. I think we might put those frogs with the Mata Mata turtle. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, you guys, we're back from the Asian food market and we've made it to Pond X. Now, as much as I love these fish and I, you know, we're doing a good thing saving them, I don't want to risk my own fish's lives by putting them into my ponds because they are filled with diseases. So we've made it to Pond X and this is where we're going to be putting the tilapia, the eels, but I think we're going to keep the crawfish and the frogs. The frogs are really cute. They look healthy and I think we're going to put them with the Mata a turtle but for now guys we're gonna get all the eels and the tilapia into pond x where they're gonna live out the rest of their lives and yeah they're definitely lucky because those other ones would have been dinner for someone all right let's check on them see how they're doing oh oh they look good all right the tilapia are all right the eels are the eels are doing that they are disgusting how are the frogs let's see oh how'd you get there mm. <laughs> oh my god these things are huge they're really cool looking. All right, get in there. Look at that. They're like little dragons. And there he goes. So those are the white eels. They're really cool. All right, now we got these ugly ones. There goes one. And here's the second one. And they go. Okay, well, it was nice knowing you guys. You're welcome for saving you. But uh, I hope you have a nice little life in here and to Pond X, beautiful pond for you. There you go, guys. Wow, look at the blue ones. They just stand out. Those are really cool. Oh, I really want some for my pond. That is a shame. They are disease-ridden. There goes one. Oh, he's off. 
Oh, he's happy. Look at him. Look how happy he looks. Oh, that's really cool. You can just tell he's happy. These guys, oh buddy, you're going the wrong way. The water's that way. Go. There he goes. And there go the other two. Sweet, they're doing good. All right, the eels are saved, guys. That was really cool seeing them swim off. Like, you could just see how happy they look. Now it's time to get the tilapia in here. The tilapia look way worse. They got glossy eyes. Their skin's, like, peeling off. So hopefully they make it. Come on, you guys. Oh, you know what? I don't even want to touch them. Let me get a net. Got him. Ew, stop it. This is, like, the last fish I would want to save. I mean, I hate tilapia. Oh, stop it. Okay, go on, go on. There they go. These fish are so dumb. That way. Oh, okay. Well, that one's, that one's moving. Oh, that one's starting to move too. Okay. They look good. There goes that one. Well, I wish them the best. Guys, we saved some tilapia, saved some eels. Now my favorite part, okay? We're going to bring those frogs and those crawfish back to my actual house, and uh, we're going to put them in one of the ponds. That's just a good feeling right there, seeing them swim off, knowing I saved them. You're welcome. All right, guys, and finally, we're back at my house, and we're here at the Mata Mata Turtle Pond. We got Justin Turtle Lake right here. He's not doing much. Hey, buddy. Look at that, guys. That is our new Mata Mata Turtle, freaking giant. And right here, we got his new friends, his new roommates. We got two, I think they're bullfrogs. Honestly, I don't even know. But these guys are really funny. I really like them. Look at that. They're huge. And we're going to add them to this pond. You can see over there, there's a little bit of land. So they can actually go up on the land and chill out. Oh, see all the little fish? So they can eat the fish too. Oh, look at him. He's floating around. Oh, he's adorable. Come on. It's your turn. There you go. Oh, they're so funny. I love them. Well, I guess this is now a turtle and frog pond. I want you guys to comment two names for the frogs right now. We'll name them. I love them. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Just chilling. There's the other one. You can see his little butt sticking out. Just one rule, guys. Don't, don't go near him, all right? And yeah, guys, that was an awesome new Asian market. If you want me to go back and save some more fish, more frogs, whatever else they got, go down there. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.